Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, a warm welcome from us, from the Qatar Philharmonic Orchestra and myself. My name is David Niemann. Now, you have maybe already noticed that we have based our program tonight around three of the most famous child prodigy composers. They all have written some very important works uh, already in their teenager years. And the great example for that is the following piece, the overture to Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream by the German composer Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi. He wrote this piece when he was just 16 years old, one six. You have to imagine that when you hear the piece. It's quite complex and it's full of fantasy. It's incredible. The function of an overture, for those who were there last week, they know already what I will say now. Um, because last week we were playing the, the overture of uh, Rossini's Guillaume Tell. The function of an overture is basically to put us in the setting where the plot is happening. And in the case of the Midsummer Night's Dream, that is a magical forest outside of Athens. Let's have a little look how he's displaying this magical forest in the middle of the night to us. For example, in the beginning, you can hear many little lightning bugs flying around in the orchestra. Can we have just the strings from measure six, please? Fantastically played, it's actually very difficult to play. Imagine a 16 year old boy comes up with this. Never has there been anything like that before in classical music, and he just has these genius ideas. There's one other place, one of my favorite places, where he is displaying us an animal. I cannot tell you the plot of uh, Midsummer Night's Dream now because this would take me about half an hour. There are so many characters. They're all in love with somebody but supposed to marry somebody else and then they fall in love with somebody else. Well, Shakespeare. Uh, you, you probably all read it uh, in, in school uh, 50 years ago, like me, not quite 50 years ago. <laughs> well, as it so turns out, th there is a moment in the plot where um, the craftsman with the name of Nick Button gets turned into a donkey and uh, Titania, the fairy queen, uh, so happens to fall in love with this donkey because she has a magic potion uh, that makes her fall in love with the next person that she sees. And there is a place in the overture where he is showing us this donkey that I want to show you. Let me just see where that is. Can we go from 194 for the orchestra measure? 194 in the second half of the bar. 194. Have, have you recognized the animal? <laughs> Exactly, it's a donkey. Anyway, he does e a e a. So, please enjoy the overture to Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream by Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi.